We'd like to welcome you to BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news, where we uncover the truth. Howard Dabney, CEO of EDOC Technologies, all the way out of the district by way of Howard County. How are you, sir? Oh, man, I'm blessed as ever, first and foremost. And most importantly, I'm happy to take this opportunity to be able to speak with you today. How you doing, man? Good, good. Now, you run a business over on K Street? Yes, sir. And we're, we're, I'm loving it. I'm, out of, I'm a native out of Baltimore, graduate out of Morgan State University. And uh, I've ventured out uh, out of the retail uh, arena. I was doing that for over 10 years. Uh, one of the most successful top African Americans on the East Coast in retail businesses. And when I realized I was trading hours for, you know, for dollars, I said to myself, well, if I can make these guys millions and they only pay me uh, a 10% a, a of what that was, I said, I want all the money. So, so as we yeah. talk about entrepreneurship, do you ever foresee yourself having to work a nine to five again a day in your life? No, sir. Why would, is that? One, be, be, because the hustle that's in me. If this, if this industry, if this industry ever died, which it, it could and, and, and it may, it may, it may as well will, um, I'm going to seek other opportunities in other areas. Another reason why I would never go back to a nine to five is nothing like controlling my own destiny. It's nothing like waking up in the morning giving myself a raise. It's nothing like waking up in the morning saying I'm going back to sleep. I get up when I get to it. Um, and when, when, when God give you the strength and the courage to want to move forward in life and uh, any obstacles that's in my life and hurdles, and I over overcome those, he reminds me each and every day that there's nothing too hard with him on your side. You can do all things through Christ but fail. So God won't give you the vision without the provision. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good yeah. deal. Now, as uh, 2011 is kicking off, we're doing our first business networking event down in Prince George's County. Okay. Let me just ask, how did you end up being from Baltimore but yet setting up shop in Washington, D.C.? Well, in Washington, I will tell you this, there is a lot of dollars that's just been going up each and every day in uh, Washington. Uh, Washington is a fast-paced town. They don't slow down for no one. The grit and gridlocks of K Street, uh, 14th Street, over on 2000 Pennsylvania Avenue, over by 1600 at the White House, there's always opportunities going up over there. And for minorities, uh, man, we don't have to go through the back door anymore to get that money. Now the money is in front of us. The problem is a lot of us minorities don't want to take the time out to go get the money. Well, we, so because of that, I'm going for it. Well, we've heard, and this is to dispel the, the myth, the misconceptions, there are those uh, in Baltimore that, that don't necessarily fully appreciate yeah. being 45 minutes from the nation's capital. <laughs> and there might even be some in the district that might not appreciate the wealth that we have here in the city of Baltimore. A word on the need particularly for African Americans to collaborate from Baltimore to Prince George's County to Washington, D.C. and beyond. Well, collaboration, I call it the new economy. And because of this new economy, it brings on new accountabilities with everyone. And because the economy is just at such a standstill right now, in order to make something move, if you can't do it by yourself, it's time for, for team action. And with team action comes, you can do anything with everyone. And if we all get on the same page, regardless of, I'll even go outside of our race, but just as a people and genuinely say, you know what, we're going to overcome this thing they want to call a recession. I don't want to, I don't call it a recession. This is just a season in time where God has paused everyone to have accountability on what we do as a people. And like you said, with that team collaboration, if we come back together, which it was once at one point in time, we can make a difference and we can make some dollars. Any final thoughts, sir? Final thoughts, uh, man, going forward in 2011, um, I know a lot of people say it's a new year, it's a new day. Every day is a new year. Every day is a new day. So with that being said, if you haven't taken charge on January 1st, 2011, when you hear this message or you see this message, take charge now. Okay. And That's we, all we, we got to say, And man. we hope to have you in the house on <laughs> Tuesday, January 25th at Old Town Inn in Prince George's County up in Marlboro. Yes. As yeah. we bridge, uh, continue to bridge uh, Baltimore, Prince George's, and other Maryland and DMV businesses uh, in the same place. Right. I can be reached at H. Daphne, that's D as in dog, A as in apple, B as in boy, N as in Nancy, E as in excellent, Y as in yes, at edoctechnologies.com. Be blessed. Thanks, Donnie. Keep watching BeMoreNews.com, the news before the news.
where we uncover the truth.